Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here what is here for you beloved why did you resonate with the title and why did your own youtube algorithm present you with this message let us tap in and talk to god okay So I am channeling a ritualist energy, right? So a ritual is something you do um, continuously as an offering or a sacrifice to something greater. Um, and this person that I'm channeling is a ritualist in forms of darkness, like dark emotions, dark thoughts, they're dark spirited, you know, they love indulging in any form of darkness, anything that feeds into darkness, they are in love with the darkness, right? Um, this person, like when, when there's no drama, they can't be there, they don't want to be involved, when there's no conflict, when there's no negativity of any kind, okay, drama and, and um, conflict is just examples of any form of negativity, right? This person thrives in predicaments that feed into negativity because negativity is attached to darkness. Negativity is darkness, okay? Just levels of darkness. And there's levels to everything in life. The, what I'm channeling is that this person is tapped into a certain level of darkness, right? And this is somebody that refuses to let you go, okay? We have the Nine of Wands, okay? This person, they... Are in a state of being where they feel and think that what they've done to you or what they've put you through or however way this person acted towards you what they said um, as well they think and feel that it's not that bad that like you no longer want them in your life or you're refusing to grant them access of your identity you know to this person it's like you being dramatic about the whole situation to them it's like okay come on like so we can't talk about it this can't be fixed this can't be healed this can't be um something that we overcome you know they don't want to see your points of view or understand your boundaries and respect them they don't want to um get how you feel this person has convinced themselves that they're not letting you go they're not willing to let you go 
you are just being too dramatic why refuse them access to you anyway what makes you think that like you can do that this is the type of energy of a person you're tapped into we have the nine of wands to the ten of wands it just keeps getting worse like this person this state of being it keeps escalating the more detached you are to this person in ways of being that you are approaching life in based on your choices and decisions you are not allowing them to break your boundaries you're standing in your power you said what you said and you mean what you say you're doing it and you're doing it and you're doing it again it's like this person to them it's like they feel disrespected because you didn't give them another chance or you're not willing to okay they know you've completely blocked them out of your life they've lost every access that they had to you and you don't see it obviously because you're living your life but someone in their life is really losing it because of that fact that they no longer have access to you or anything really linked to you okay we have the four of cups We have double Sagittarius energy. We have Scorpio energy as well. Okay, we have triple Sagittarius energy here. No, quadruple Sagittarius energy. We have Aries energy. We have Leo energy. More Sagittarius energy here as well. Okay. To this person, this situation can be resolved they don't think and feel the way you do about it and they don't have to for them to respect your decision and choice about the situation doesn't mean they have to agree with it you know it's like someone is trying to force themselves onto you here they're trying to force their identity back into your reality they don't want you to move on we have gemini energy as well here like this person is convinced that if they keep staying away from you for as long as they have or the separation persists and it continues they feel like they're going to lose you for good and they don't want that to happen they've never wanted to lose you like this person never wanted to lose access to you so back to the ritualist energy where this is somebody that if they can't get what they want physically right they will manipulate energy behind the scenes. They will go into the spirit to do something in order to call back in what they truly desire or to manifest the situation back into their life. You know, this is the type of person that will stay up all night looking, researching situations, things, people, places, just whatever they need in order to call back in what they want to call back in or to manifest what they want to manifest in life okay yeah they are heavily somebody that manipulates energy okay they manipulate people's free will they manipulate life like they don't believe in anything outside of what they want to attach themselves to what they want to if this person knows that something is not going to happen for them they will do anything that they can to turn that around it's like what do you mean this is not going to be what i want it to be or this is not going to happen how i want it to happen or this is not going to take place it will because i wanted to like this is a very heavy narcissist here You know, they are very narcissistic here. This is somebody that is driven by, driven by ego. Driven by ego alone. You know, they, they don't have the capacity for love or genuine, sincere um, bond.
So this person's trying to force their way back into your life, okay? They're trying to manifest you back. They're trying to call you back into your into their life. They they literally going into the spirit, okay? They're manipulating energy, okay? Yeah. And ever since, yeah, exactly, we have the moon. Like, this is a heavy ritualist here. They do something daily. There's an, a, a certain extent that this person is, is, is going here. There's a certain capability that this person is in alignment with when it comes to the situation. They don't care what they need to do. Like, they're just looking for this result, which is you reaching back out or you allowing them back into your life. Like, they just want access to you. That's all they care about. That's all they ever care about. Like, they just want access to you. So now this person, this whole situation here is like burdening their daily life. They don't see it yet, but it's these rituals that they keep doing that are enabling them to be more delusional about the situation or just not see things for what they are. Like this person plays with energy, like they manipulate energy all the time. That's like that's what they do we have the eight of cups you refusing to have them in your life you walking away you creating boundaries denying them access it just made this person snap you know it put them in a state of being where behind the scenes obviously they're doing a whole lot to call you back into their energy to manifest you back into their life and it's a constant thing where they do it ritualistically like it's a ritual here they constantly do it and they believe and trust in it and have faith in it so much that it's because they 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 feel and think that this is the only way because they clearly see that physically there is nothing that can be done so they're going about it in the spirit you know they're doing something with the moon here these are specifically moon rituals here with the moon. And they constantly in and out of the spirit, trying to manipulate your energy, trying to bind you to their reality so that even when you do return, in they in their mind, that's what they're thinking. Even when you do return, you never leave or you never think of leaving. You always just find yourself wanting to fix things or seeing them in this high light that like you don't think of leaving okay like you don't really know who this person is for real for real like they just showed you a version of themselves that they felt like was going to win you over or was going to keep you thinking that there's something that they're not they showed you a version of themselves that they felt and thought you were going to love or be comfortable with or trust you know they showed you what they thought and felt you wanted to see they were manipulating you already with their own energy like this is who they are but this person works with the moon they love working with the moon they do a lot of moon rituals moon work so them trying to force themselves back into your reality um it's like it's something that they're taking very seriously okay like they put a lot into it like all their emotions when it comes to when it comes to the situation and towards you all their like their thoughts oh it's like everything is going into this here and they're going in and out of the spirit and they heavily manipulating the moon energy. We're using the moon energy to manipulate your energy, right? I do see here that this person, the reason they're so adamant in doing this, the reason they want so much control, access in your reality, or the reason they are doing what they're doing is because 
this person feeds off of your energy like this is somebody that literally feeds off of your energy here this narcissist has no love within them to give queen of cups reverse you know what i'm saying all they know is to take love from others or to manipulate the love others have for them you know they don't have the capacity for love the space for love because within them it's all void in there like someone is empty inside they're so lifeless you know what i'm saying and they have an empty cup they literally don't they have literally not even the bare minimum of love to offer you they're not of that vibration and they know that they just want to manipulate your energy to the extent that you don't see that about them or you forget that about them or it doesn't matter to you that they're like that this person is trying to play with your energy they've been playing with your energy to them you know they have to steal because they know there's no other way to it they have to you know be a thief in the night this person is doing this in secret all right you won't know like people be doing this in in any moon cycle whether it's a crescent moon a full moon it, 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 to this person every night someone does something here every night they invest their energy into doing this let's tap in further to this energy They're holding on to this situation for their dear life. Like, it's like, this is like them. And they just like holding this so tightly. And they're trying to keep you stuck so badly. They're trying to keep you bound to their energy so badly. They're trying to manifest you and call you back into their life. Let's tap in further to this energy, okay? Let's talk to God. We have the Hermit here. Mm, we have the Three of Wands. This person will not stop what they're doing, okay? Um, they will not be stopping what they're doing. It's something that they're going to continuously invest their energy into, okay? We do have Cancer energy here. We have Libra energy here. We have Double Scorpio energy, okay? We have Pisces energy here, double Cancer energy here, we have Virgo energy here, and we have more Sagittarius energy here as well. This person, them going into the spirit in and out, manipulating your energy, trying to manifest and call you back in, they're looking at it as something that's wise, you know. Like something that there's no way that it's not going to lead to what they wanted to lead to. You know, that's why they're so fully invested in this. They truly believe that if they put out this strong energy, it's going to come back to them the way they want it to. You know, but the reason they think it's strong is because they put in their oil into this. You know, these rituals that they do every night, like they won't stop doing it until they see what they want to see because they're not willing to let you go. They're too attached and like really, they have their own reality in their head that they live when it comes to you and the situation here. And they just don't want to let that go. Okay, whoever this is in your reality it could be a feminine or a masculine energy. Please take it how it resonates. But someone here, to them, like, this is something that they need to do because they feel like if they don't do anything and they just let you go, they'll, like, end up just going crazy because they really don't want you to release them, okay? They really don't want you to 
look at them as somebody that isn't worthy of your identity they want to change this whole thing to what they want it to be and they're going into the spirit they're investing their energy and the more they invest their energy into this the more this person um because don't forget they're trying to bind you right if they call you in and they're trying to manifest you that's them binding you know your energy so they're trying to bind you and them doing this the extent that they're doing it in and the way in which they're doing it they're not realizing that it's affecting not only their mental health but also their emotional health and their spiritual health right because this person is beginning to convince themselves of things that aren't true they're beginning to feel things about this situation in ways that like is unrealistic and they constantly in and out of the spirit and they don't understand that like they are depleting their own spirit in the process okay they binding themselves to your energy you are not being touched by anything they 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 are going to end up having weird dreams about you or they're going to end up like thinking that they saw you somewhere and it wasn't you you know they're going to end up like looking for you and searching for you and other people that they deal with or other people that enter their life or things like that other people in general they're going to end up in the energy of constantly attaching your energy to their life to themselves in every way and it's like it's literally returning to them as much as they constantly do it you do it they do this ritual it comes back to them you know what i'm saying they become bound to your energy and the sad truth is that you don't care or you are nowhere to be found you want nothing to do with this person you've left all of that in the past or you've forgotten about it or you just you are no longer who you used to be okay you literally don't care like you're moving on with your life this means nothing to you but to this person they want it to mean everything to you hence they're trying to manipulate your energy the way they're trying to manipulate your energy here okay they want you to give to them again six of pentacles energy we do have taurus energy here they want you to give to them again they're desperate for your energy okay they want to see something happen like they're not willing to process and understand that you're completely out of their life okay that's why they have so much hope in what they're doing but it's all wishful thinking it's all fantasy it's all delusion and illusion and they need to snap out of it but because they're not choosing the truth they want the truth to be what they want it to be they're constantly going to lose themselves in all of this like this is somebody that literally wants you back with everything in them and it's not for love that's the thing about this narcissist here they know what they're trying to do and it's not based on love at all this is somebody that if you have them around you your things will begin to slow down or you'll take certain hits and losses you'll grieve certain things because like this person comes with bad luck okay like this person's energy like this person's identity this person's presence like someone is bad luck like someone has a shadow hovering over them someone has a dark cloud hovering over them and you cannot engage with anyone like this because you will take the fall you will take the hits as well you know what i'm saying you need to be aware that someone here is better off where they're at than with you and that's the ultimate truth you know you bring them into your life will be you sacrificing your own life because when you let this energy of a person in your life and what comes with them it's going to ruin your life like the things you're working hard for all of a sudden they stagnancy or the way in which you are doing what you are doing all of a sudden you'll be confused is it right is it wrong or the way in which um your life is going things are going to take a turn there will be towers left, right, and center. Like, this person is bad luck. 
and because they're in your life it's going to obviously affect you as well that's why we got to pray for discernment with the people that we allow in our energy because we don't know what they come with and what they are about you know we don't know their intentions they can act genuine and sincere but they don't necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean that they actually are okay this person here they just care about their own things okay and god is asking me not to even go go deep into what this person actually wants out of this because it all has to do with what darkness this person knows what they're chasing why they want to feed on you um attach themselves to your energy so bad why they want to be in your life so bad you know they know what they want out of this and it has nothing to do with genuine sincere true love or just a bond that they want to have no like this person has their own things like literally and the more you reject this person the more crazier they get you know the more you reject this person the more you know crazier they feel because it's like you standing in your power is what's enabling all of these energies that they're sending your way to stay where they're being sent that's why you can't be touched because you genuinely don't want nothing to do with this person because you know the truth of them anyway you're not fooled and deceived by their words or their actions because the truth of them has already been illuminated you are enlightened and aware of who they truly are okay and they don't want to believe that they don't want to believe that you see them like that they want to still like be in their own world with it but they trying to make that your problem them not moving on them not being able to let go they're trying to make that your problem and the more this person does this the more they are affected by your energy like if they would just choose to let things go and confront the truth of the situation for what it is not what they want it to be they'll find peace eventually you know they will eventually but because this person is trying to bend your free will it's literally enabling them to bind themselves further to your energy they won't be able to move forward they can't if they keep doing this it's like they're going to always be attached to you in the way that they are right now and it's just going to keep getting worse and worse as they just stay bound okay this person thinks about you every day like this is something serious here they think about you every day they reminisce about the times where they had access to you, they could talk to you, they or they could see you, and it puts them in a situation where they're like, I wish, I wish, I wish, right? I wish that I could, I wish that we could, but that's the thing, this is not about love. This person knows what they want out of this, it's not love. And the more they literally go within themselves and then go within the spirit and bind themselves to energy what do they think is gonna happen like they're gonna be obsessed or like crazy while you move on you know what i'm saying you're not taking any petty apologies or you're not willing to have any conversation you don't care about them feeling bad about anything you just want to be left alone you choose your peace and that's what they don't want to accept They don't want to accept that you are choosing peace. You don't care, okay? But clearly, this is somebody here that they ain't right, beloved. And they are just an opportunist. And they look at your energy in an opportunist way. They don't care about you. They care about their own things. This is a narcissist, okay? This is a big knock energy. This is big knock energy, okay? I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings 
with $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.